My name is Michelle Lazarus, and I'm a librarian here at the North Regional Library. And I love experimenting with new technology and crafts. And one of the things I love to do is sew with conductive thread. Um, as an example, I brought my light up constellation apron. Uh, I took an old apron and I put an iron on of constellations on it. And then I added these stars that light up when you push the buttons. You see? Now this is the kind of thing you can do when you sew with conductive thread. Now, starting at the end of June, uh, the last week of June, the 27th of June, uh, we will be giving away bags full of supplies for you to do your own conductive thread project. It's going to be a light up bracelet. And uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to get started sewing with conductive thread so you can be successful when you use conductive thread for your projects. Um, the project with the light up bracelet will be given away once again the end of June, June 27th to the beginning of July that week. Uh, at the North Regional Library, you can pick it up either through the drive through or inside the branch, but that's the only branch where you can get this project. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you have fun adding technology to your textiles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you pick up your project at the North Regional Library, these are the items that you will see in the bag. Uh, LEDs, a sewable battery holder, a little snap, a coin cell battery, strip of felt, and some instructions and a schematic. And of course, you'll get a length of conductive thread. For those of you who have never seen it before, this is conductive thread. It is remarkably like regular thread, except it's made with stainless steel. So it is a bit more wiry, uh, and it's a little bit harder to handle. So just keep that in mind as you work with it. Uh, you will also need some items from home. So you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, You'll need a super skinny needle with a very, very tiny hole because some of these components, the little sewable holes are very, very tiny. So you need a tiny needle. You'll need a regular uh, spool of thread. Any color will do. Of course, I picked red to match my felt. And you'll need a pair of scissors. And God forbid, but you might need a seam ripper. I hope you don't. <laughs> um, so let's get started with our project. This is what you'll be making when you get the project, by the way. It's a light up bracelet, as I mentioned before. Um, it's kind of silly looking, but of course it's very festive, which is what, why you can wear it for the 4th of July. Um, put it around your wrist and snap the snap. And when you snap it, as you can see, it turns on your lights. So yay, very festive for the 4th of July. Now, uh, I just want to take some time to sh do, go over some do's and don'ts of how to sew with conductive thread so you can get the most success out of this project. Um, so I'm just going to do a simple circuit for you on this, just one light and one battery holder. I'm not even going to do a snap. But if you follow the schematic here and you follow the directions that you get in your bag, you shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's get started with the simple circuit. So if you know how to hand sew, you're going to be more successful with this project than those that do not know how to hand sew. I'm just letting you know that um, if you don't know how to hand sew, you will have to pick it up but it's okay, it's pretty simple. Now the stitch that uh, you use when do working with conductive thread is called a running stitch. And it's really like a dashed line, as you can see right here on the schematic, you can see you're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, 
and you're gonna make like a little dashed line with your stitches. It's one of the simplest stitches you can do. So even if you're not a great hand sewer or you haven't even ever sewn before, you can do this project. Um, the next thing I need to tell you about working with conductive thread and adding lights to your textiles, um, polarity matters. Everything has a negative and everything has a positive. I mean, all the components do. Um, obviously, you've seen batteries. Batteries always have a positive and negative side. When you get your coin cell battery, you'll see the top is going to be shiny and it has a plus on the top. The top is the positive side. You have to keep that in mind because when you put it into the battery holder, the positive has to be face up, okay? Once again, you get your LED light. An LED has positive and negative sides as well. The LED has these long wires that come down, right? And these wires, I, I call them leads. And the longer lead, as you can see, one is longer than the other. The longer one is the positive, and the shorter one is the negative. You need to keep that straight, okay? And then, of course, you have the battery holder. The battery holder also has polarity. It has a positive side and a negative side. And as you can see, if you're looking at it from the top, the side that looks like a number three with three prongs here, that's the positive. And this side, the other side, is the negative. So positive, positive, positive. Keep all your positives straight and your negatives straight. And that's all going to be on your uh, instructions that you're going to get in your bag. Um, so first, let's take your LED and we're gonna curl the leads, okay? They do not have to be perfect, but we're gonna make them into kind of a circular shape. So you're gonna grasp the, the positive lead first, the longer one, right? We're gonna grasp it and curl it around the needle nose pliers, okay? That's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna squash it down Remember, we just did the positive. So I'm gonna try and keep that on the right, okay? Woo, sorry about that. The negative side, I'm gonna also do in a curling motion. Okay. Squash that down. And look, they are totally not perfect. They're not perfect spirals, but not to worry, okay? Now I have this little sticky note that I made that has a negative and a positive. Uh, this is gonna come with your um, instructions. So you're gonna have this um, also to use. Uh, just a sticky note, something simple to keep the LED leads straight so you remember what side is positive and what side is negative okay so first we're going to thread the needle okay i'm just going to grab about three inches of thread okay and we have a very narrow needle here so i hope i can thread this all right, there we go. Okay. Oop. So as you can see, I stuck one end through the needle and I just have it hanging down. The rest of the thread, I'm gonna grab the end and I'm gonna tie two knots. I want two knots because I want to make sure it doesn't go through the felt. 
and I'm going to try and get them as close to the bottom of the thread as I can so I don't waste that much. And I'm also going to try and make sure that my knots overlap each other. One knot right on top of the other. Okay, I'm happy with that. I do have a little bit at the end that I'm gonna snip off. Okay, great. All right, now that you have your needle threaded, I'm gonna take our strip and I'm gonna put my battery holder down, okay? And I'm gonna start with the positive side of the battery holder, the one with the, that looks like a number three. I'm gonna stick my needle through the top and down through that hole because if you try and go up through it, it's such a small hole, it's hard to do, all right? I'm gonna make at least three passes through this hole. I want to make three passes so that I can have a good connection with that battery holder, okay? That's one, two, try to make sure you don't lose your thread, it can happen sometimes, just try and keep it threaded. Three, okay. Now I'm going to start a running stitch down. I'm gonna try and do just a few little stitches down before I put my LED. I'm keeping my stitches tight and as uniform as I can. Look, I am no expert in sewing. I'm definitely not the best hand sewer in the universe, believe me. But when you're sewing with conductive thread, you have to try and keep them tight because you need that good connection, okay? So I just have one, two, three, three stitches here. Then I'm gonna go over here and grab my LED. And I remember the, the positive lead is on the right. So I'm just gonna grab it and put it here. And since I know my positive side of my battery holder is on the right, I'm gonna keep the positive lead of my LED on the right, okay? Once again, I'm going to go through this le these leads here three times so I get a good connection. One. Two. Three. I'm gonna turn it over and you can tie off the end. And you're going to need a separate and distinct piece of thread for the negative side. One thing that you should know is that you can't stop in the middle and start over, you can't stop in the middle and continue where you left off. If I had made any mistakes in this, then I would have had to rip it all out and start over. And I definitely don't wanna have to do that because I don't wanna waste conductive thread. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a longer piece this time. Now 
we're starting on the negative side. around that lead because we want to make sure that we get a good connection. All right. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'll show you how to properly tie off. Put your needle through the lat one of the last stitches you did. Like so. Pull up so that you have a loop. Go through that loop. Go through the second loop you just made. And pull it tight. There you go. And then you can cut it close to the bottom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna put our battery in and see if our connections will make our light light up. So once again, I wanna make sure that the positive side of my battery is facing up when I stick the battery in. And voila, the light lights up. So that is how you would want to sew using conductive thread to get a component to light up. Once again, all of the instructions on how to do this project explain exactly uh, how to do things. Um, I wanna go over once again the do's and don'ts. You don't wanna break your circuit, you want to use one piece of thread for each side of your polarity. So you want a positive side of the thread and negative side of the thread. In this project, you're going to have three distinct pieces of thread. And I am very specific about it um, in the instructions, okay? If you break your circuit for any reason and you stop in the middle and you need to you cannot continue from where you stopped. So you definitely have to keep going with one piece of thread. As you can see, all of this is one piece of thread. All of this is one piece of thread. And up here, that's your third piece of thread. Okay, don't break the circuit. You have to make sure, and I think I went over this pretty well in the video, but make sure that all your positives are lined up and all your negatives are lined up. So on the project, you're gonna see every positive, all my, po the positive side of the battery holder, the positive battery, part of the battery, and the positive leads are all lined up, and all the negatives are lined up on the left side, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, you need to remember to keep your stitches tight, close together and as consistent as you can, do the best you can. The tighter your stitches are, the better because that will make a better connection. If they're loose and floppy, you won't get a good connection and it might not always work. So just keep all those things in mind and relax and have fun with your first project, sewing with conductive thread and um, enjoy. Enjoy your 4th of July, everybody.